Leaders all around the world are facing a series of challenges. Some of them are locally driven, others are the result of global shifts in geopolitics, in climate, in biodiversity, and in economic trends. The fact is the economic model we've pursued over the past century has transformed the human condition, improving life expectancy, living standards, access to education, nutritional uh, stability in all parts of the world. But it has also released one and a half trillion tons of CO2 into the atmosphere, pushed a million species to the brink of extinction. And in just the past half century, we have seen a loss of about 70% of the abundance of wildlife species around the world. Combined, the climate, biodiversity, and economic inequality crisis that we face are going to shape the rest of the 21st century. Either our community, our business, and political leaders will rise to these challenges, or their constituents will vote them out. If we're going to have a prosperous 21st century, our economic system needs to be redesigned away from just short-term income gains towards building prosperity based on a sustainable management of all of the assets on which economies depend. That means natural capital, human capital, the health and skills of the population, social capital, the amount of trust we have in each other, in business and in governments, and of course, physical infrastructure. Combined, these assets determine what is feasible in an economy, both today and in the future. We need to rearrange our economic system so that we build that capital base rather than raid it for short-term returns.